You bathing in your water bowl? Yeah. Now you got blueberries. Uh, what? Ground quail. Exotic. Hey guys, welcome back to another sanctuary vlog. So we're going to feed the uh, pigs and the goats right now. That's how we start every morning. Julie's already talking up a storm. Petunia. Ooh, Petunia. Hi, Daisy. Julie! Are you scavenging like Daisy now? Is that your new thing? Petunia. Come here, Tuni. Petunia. Oh, this big pig. Oh, this big pig. Look at this big mohawk. Hi, Daisy. Hi, Daisy. Julie! Come here, Julie! <laughs> Julie! No? She thinks there's food over there. I don't know where she's going. Food's over here. Julie! Come here! Julie! Come here, pig! Not you. Julie! Come here! Oh, look at her go. Look at the ears. Oh, I got ran over by Daisy. Hi! Hi, Julie! Here. We got a little, little bit right here. Sit, Daisy. Sit. Sit. Good, Daisy. You sit, Petunia. Go, Petunia. Julie! Julie! Hey, sit. Can you sit? Petunia's sitting. Go, Petunia. Oh, good, Daisy girl. Good, Daisy girl. Good, Petunia. Look at this good Petunia. We gotta teach you how to sit. It's really easy to teach them to sit. I just need uh, not to have distractions like the other pigs and goats and chaos. But it's actually really easy. They're really smart. Bam! Why are you... Come here, come here, come here. Look at you, come here, turn. Look at, what is this? Why are you covered in poop? Look at you, you are disgusting. Whose poop did you roll in? Why do you do this? Look at this. Oh, it's so gross. Now we have to bathe you. Why? Why do you do this, Bam? Was it him? Was it his poop? Probably was. Oh, we got the zoomies. You got the zoomies. It is a beautiful day out here. So nice out here today. All right, so now we're taking all the tortoises out. It's nice and warm today, so they're all coming out here. That's the big girl. You taking a bath, Pebbles? Well, a brief one. You got a stick stuck to your butt. There you go. Oh, these little piggies. Oh, there you go, guys. Oh my God. You guys are crazy. So, this little dude got neutered yesterday. He got Rudolph and Wilbur, so they got neutered yesterday. And uh, we will be getting them ready for adoption really soon. That's really exciting. Oh. 
So people are asking, why aren't we keeping them? Why are they going up for adoption? So we were just fostering these guys for another uh, rescue, Eastern Snouts. And uh, we already have our three resident adult pigs. Um, I'm not running a pig rescue. <laughs> you know, I try to help out where and when I can and helping out another rescue by fostering these guys has been really, you know, great. And we're happy to help out with that. But I'm not about to have 10 pigs, adult pigs on my property I have to take care of. So that is not my goal. It is not my intention. I want to help out where I can. But again, I'm trying to do an alligator rescue, not a pig rescue. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah, Gabby just said it also opens up space for more emergencies as they come along. So we had the space. We could help foster these guys. Uh, we did our part. And now we're going to uh, have them adopted out through Eastern Snouts where they came from. <laughs> So they've got what ground quail, exotic canine diet, uh, blueberries, peppers, omnivore diet, and bee pollen. Uh, pretty close. It wasn't omnivore diet. It was freeze dried turkey. But everything else you got. <laughs> I think they'll eat just about anything. I'm not sure if they appreciate your culinary genius. I think you're right. There you go, Sami. And away with the pepper. <laughs> Apparently that log wasn't good enough. Let me go, Jet. He is not impressed. Is, is there a rabbit in here? There is, but it's mixed with quail. Oh, he is not impressed with the quail. Jet, come on. There's a rabbit in there. He smells of quail like ugh, disgusting. I'm not touching that filth. Oh, come on, Jet. Look at him. He went back to bed. Like, until that disgusting quail is out of here, I'm not eating. Well, buddy, that's what you're getting today. And it's the morning now, but I think uh, by the evening, this will be gone because he's going to get hungry. He got to eat something other than just rabbit. All right, now we're going to feed the coatis. So looks like they've got some apple, grapes, omnivore diet, monkey chow, banana, applesauce, um, some sort of freeze dried meat, and some little rice puffs. Jelly bean, you taking a bath? I think it was all wet. You were taking a bath, huh? You bathing in your water bowl? Yeah, and then you got blueberries and you're all happy and fresh and clean. Yeah. Look at you. Look at this wet boy.
You happy boy, yeah. He's so happy with his blueberries. All right, so I've been saying I can't wait until it warms up. It's finally warmed up for the foreseeable future right now. Uh, it's going to be up in like the low, upper 70s, even 80s, and not very cold at night. So I'm going to go ahead and take the tarp down off of this. I'll probably have to put it back up in like two weeks anyways. But for now, we're going to go ahead and take it off. All right, so look at how happy everybody is. Not all tarped up anymore. Hi, Rocky. All right, so this is awesome. So hopefully we don't get any more cold weather and I can leave this tarp off. That thing is such a pain. All right, so now we're gonna do the small parrot aviary, take all their tarp down. All right, so we got the tarp down. I uh, might leave it down just in case we got to put it back up. We get some bad weather coming in, but it's so awesome. This is the first time that we've had the tarp down with the birds in here. So when we first built this, it was while it was cold. So we had to tarp it before putting the birds in. So this is their first time seeing what it's like out here too. They look pretty happy. You guys look pretty happy. All of his grass is coming in. The living roof is looking great. Gonna have to rearrange some of it. It's coming off a little bit, but otherwise, I mean, it really looks really good with the ferns. And then I uh, just cleaned out his pond. Well, a lot of wind, so a lot more leaves just came in, but just clean this out, gonna refill it. Hi, Jumanji. Hi, big guy. What? What are you doing, huh? Can't eat my finger. Nope. 
Not food. He likes to double check though. Alright. Oh, big guy. We got flake coming off. There you go. Is that what you want? Oh, look at him lay down. Yep, that's what he wanted. He literally just positioned himself for butt scratches. And then as soon as I started, he lays down. So tortoises can feel their shell, and he really likes being scratched, as you can see. So a lot of people think, oh, they can't feel their shell, or oh, you know, it's so tough, whatever. No, it has nerve endings. And like, oh, but how do they feel that? Well, you know, the turtle shell is literally its rib cage, like actually. That's how they evolved. So the shell evolved from the rib cage. So imagine your rib cage enveloping your whole body, which also comes to the point that no turtles and tortoises cannot come out of their shell. Uh, it's on cartoons, but you know, you'd be really surprised how many people think that's a real thing. But he does actually like being a pet. So what are we doing? All right, so we got food for the Redfoot tortoises, since we put them out here today. So we get the sturdy tortoise chow with bananas and bugs mixed in. I'm trying to give him some cactus, but. <laughs> All right, so we just put the tortoises out today and she just laid an egg. <laughs> and I think she's still going there. Clover, move, go, move. So looks like she's still working on it. And uh, yeah, so what do we do with the eggs and all that kind of stuff? So um, same exact thing we do with alligator eggs. We get this question constantly. What do you do with all the babies? Nothing, because they don't have babies. They lay eggs. Everybody thinks they have babies. They don't have babies, they lay eggs. And just like a chicken egg, when it's first laid, there's no baby in there. There's nothing in there. There's nothing happening unless it incubates. So all we have to do is prevent incubation. So we just remove the eggs and don't allow them to incubate. And then there's no baby at any point, you know? If we leave them in the ground, they will naturally incubate and we will find baby tortoises walking around. Obviously we don't try to like breed our tortoises or anything like that, but we do have males and females in here. And Bam. There is no such thing as tortoise birth control, so sometimes it does happen. Yeah, you can't fix them, so, you know, uh, there will undoubtedly be some babies in here at some point. We're going to miss some in the nest, you know, but uh, we do try to get out here and check and look for nests and uh, remove the eggs. So, that, you know, we, we're a rescue. We take in rescue tortoises. We're not trying to produce more tortoises. Definitely not. I know people are like, oh, but you can make money. You can sell. We're not trying to put more tortoises out in the pet trade, yeah, you know? Yeah, definitely not. And, you know, in... The rare instance that we do miss one and we find a baby, we'll just keep it for the rest of its life. Do you want to just like crack it and show that it is empty? Um, I want to see. Wow, <laughs> that was fast, huh? I know, she's been working hard over here. These were literally just laid because we just put them outside. Make sure we get all of them. Oh man, look at that. There's probably like three to five of them. Yep, there's another one right there. Yep. Probably like five. Wow. Oh, six. Wow. And she's still going, huh? I think she's trying to cover them back up. I think that was it. So if anybody's worried about, oh, isn't she gonna miss her babies? No, there is no maternal care whatsoever in tortoises. Um, she would not know her own babies if she saw them and she wouldn't care about them either. Uh, we've literally taken photos of baby tortoises next to adults and the adults a lot of times try to eat them or just step on them. Like they, they have no interest in them whatsoever. It's just like the sea turtles. They have a bunch of, you know, bait, well, they lay a bunch of eggs and they leave and the babies are on their own. So it's the same thing with these guys. She does not care. Um, it's just instinct for her. Yeah. So six eggs though. That's a lot. That is a lot.
And this is one of our newer ones. This is River. So there's her eggs, and then she's already over there eating. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, she does not care at all. Um, I know people get really weird and crazy about this stuff, so that's why we're trying to really emphasize the point. Uh, there is no maternal care at all. So she's immediately over there eating again. Does not care about the eggs. Will not miss them. Will not be sad in any way whatsoever. So don't worry, guys. You guys got some food on your face. And just to prove the point, we'll go ahead and crack it open. As you guys can see, there's no baby. It's just like a chicken egg. And uh, speaking of chickens, uh, that's probably gonna be eaten by our chickens. <laughs> I've actually never seen the inside of a tortoise egg. There you go. It's pretty cool. It's a big yolk. That is a really big yolk. And then this is Theodore, and he is our sulcata, or African spur thigh tortoise who has a really bad case of metabolic bone disease and you can see his shell so if you guys saw jumanji earlier and how big and how good looking his shell is this is the same species like again the same species we don't know how old theodore is but he could literally be around the same age as jumanji and just i mean yeah the size difference you know, now I think Jumanji is a Sudanese giant subspecies, so I think he's just unusually huge, anyways. But uh, the idea with this one, though, is it's got a really, really bad case of like stunted growth and properly formed shell pyramiding. This right here, instead of going like this, it's going like this. Um, yeah, and these are all consequences of improper captive care. So uh, when we first got him, he was just found wandering around. He had escaped or was released. We don't know. And uh, he was just wandering around the neighborhood. And had a prolapse. <laughs> and had a prolapse, All right, so we're gonna try to cut this uh, stump here. It's already halved and uh, give it to Asami as a new hide. Probably take the top off, right? Yeah, probably. I think like, so it's even? Yeah. My piece just was already rotten on the side there. How heavy is that? Not too bad. Nice. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah, Sami will like that a lot. <laughs> That's pretty cool, right? That's awesome. 
I love that we can just get, you know, pieces for the enclosure just a couple hundred feet away. It's pretty just cool. Walk over here. Okay, so now get it in here. Oh. Sammy's going for a walk. Chunky, what are you doing? Go. Go, Sammy. Go. Oh, she's stomping. Oh, she's stomping. Go get. <laughs> Do you need help? Yeah, that's a yes. Where's it going? All right, so we're gonna put it here. And so we're gonna move these first. Do you like her little plants? Yeah. So we got a big beetle. Oh. What kind of beetle is that? Cool. Okay. Where do, you, where do you want this one? Uh, I think over here maybe, but we'll put this one down first and see how it looks. <laughs> it's too bad they don't make these light. <laughs> really cool it's really cool maybe we should um it's huge yeah i know maybe we should turn it more this way huh? so you can see like so yeah like bring this uh, closer i've hit my head on this like six times it's a good thing it's not heavy yeah like that that's so cool is that pretty solid like if she stands on this it won't oh yeah it's okay yeah this thing is awesome that's super cool She's laid out in there. Yeah, look how cute from this side. This is a better angle. What do you think? Aww. You like your new log? But there's all kinds of bugs in here. She's gonna be digging it. <laughs> all right, so shoveling more sand for the prairie dogs today too. Uh, we didn't finish it yesterday, so we had to go get the pigs that just got neutered. And then so many things we had to do today. And then, uh, so we're not going to finish it probably tonight either, but we're going to put some work into it. And then hopefully tomorrow we actually finish it and get the prairie dogs outside. Every day I shovel something. It's usually poop. <laughs> it is usually poop. Oh, look who it is. He's coming to say hello. Coming to be in the way. Comet. He's going to stand right where your shovel is, 100%. <laughs> She's back here and decided we need help. The supervisor. 
It's my favorite time of day. It's golden hour at the sanctuary. Everything just looks so beautiful with this golden sunlight. Uh, especially the Spanish moss on the trees, the enclosures. So beautiful. The hardworking man. <laughs> yeah, as usual. I forgot what it looks like without the tarp. I know, it looks so good. Right? It looks beautiful. It's like I'm seeing it for the first time. It looks so beautiful. Well, especially the parakeets, because it is seeing it for the first time. Yeah. The first. Yeah, the parakeets are amazing. You got a dirty face? Yeah, you got a dirty face. to get more dirt. All right, well, there was more hours and hours of shoveling dirt, but I'll spare you guys having to watch all that. So hopefully you enjoyed the video though, and I will leave you a parting gift of watching the baby emu.